Hey everyone, Slambo here. Got the uh, the big haul from the weekend. So on uh, Sunday after uh, Record Store Day, I met up with JJ22 Explosive Hits in Milwaukee. We went to a record show and we went to a couple of record stores after the show. Uh, after we got enough purchases out of the show, that <laughs> we figured we'd gone through all the vendors and gotten what we could find that fit our collections or that we were looking for. So I've got this big box of records down here that I'm going to go through. So let's look at what I got. So for record store day, I got the Jonathan Winters re reissue, Jonathan Winters Unearth. This is a three disc set. Uh, the first LP or the first disc is a reprint of The Wonderful World of Jonathan Winters, which I have the unoriginal of. The second is a show at the Crescendo on January 22nd, 1960. And the third is bonus material that has not been released before. So I've listened to about half of this and I still need to, still need to listen to the other half, but that's coming. So rather than spending all the time on that, let's go on and starting with the records that I got at the record show on Sunday, uh, the first vendor that I stopped at had the police ghost in the machine. And I've mentioned before that my wife is a big uh, Sting and Police fan, so I had to pick this one up for her. Uh, we already had it on CD, but now we have it on vinyl. Uh, the same vendor had the, uh, the album that uh, was the most expensive of my trip, uh, and that's Frank Zappa, Apostrophe. Uh, this one has track one is Don't Eat the Yellow Snow, and track two is Nanook Rubs It. Those are the two tracks that I know the best on this album. Uh, this one, you know, like I said, it was the most expensive of the day. It was 20 bucks, so, so that gives you an idea of where the rest of the day is going. Uh, we go right down. <laughs> uh, then, at some of the other vendors, I found Eartha Kit at the Plaza. Uh, this has tracks including Sell Me, I Want to Be Evil, I know that one, uh, The Touch, How Could You Believe Me, Champagne Taste, Old Fashioned Girl, and Romania, Romania, and a few others on here. Uh, Eartha Kit uh, will forever in our house be known as the voice of Yzma from The Emperor's New Groove. But uh, she's also, before The Emperor's New Groove, uh, I knew her as the uh, the voice behind Santa Baby. And when her version of Santa Baby comes on the radio, then I know it's Christmas time. Uh, then we've got a uh, Rich Little album. This one is Politics and Popcorn. Uh, and then we've got a very long list of, partial list of voices that he impersonates here on this record. Let's see, let's go through a few of them. Don Adams, Amos and Andy, uh, Dean Martin, Robert Goulet, Gregory Peck, Hubert Humphrey, uh, Laurel and Hardy, Perry Como, Jerry Vale, and I saw Jonathan, yeah, there he is. Jonathan Winters is number 129 on, on here in the partial list of voices. So this will be a fun one to listen to. Uh, and then we've got, oh, they're all getting stuck together here. There we go. My first Eddie Murphy record. Uh, this is Put Your Mouth on Me. Got it for, I think it was less than $4 in, in the end. Uh, but this was a 12-inch uh, single, so there's only that one track. Uh, and then we've also got another first for my collection, my first Red Fox record. This is Where It's At. Uh, back doesn't say anything about what's on it. It just has other records that he had. Uh, all with a very similar record cover look. So now I know what to look for in the stacks when I go out. Uh, the only difference is this one up here, Red Fox at Home, but the others are all the same cover art style. And then we've got, um, you know, Rob at the Wax is sending me a uh, Albert Brooks record. I found another one at the record show. This is Albert Brooks' A Star is Bought. Uh, so side one, we've got... Uh, uh, in the beginning, phone call to Americans, uh, it, an end in sight, uh, side two, promotional gimmick, call this cut three, side two, the Englishman, etc., 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 several others. What I noticed, though, in looking at this, it's kind of hard to see here, but there's a little line that goes down here and over here. You can fold this out and it becomes a stand for the promo photo that's on the front. So it's the first record that I've seen that does that. Then I've got several of this guy's records in my collection. This is this is Ray Stevens. And this one is uh, 
The back is a little water damaged, but I took a look at the vinyl and it looks okay. Uh, we've got Harry the Hairy Ape, just one of life's trage tragedies, the deodorant song, speedball, soap opera, uh, the great Sebastian, and a few others on here, uh, all written by Ray Stevens. Uh, so this is sort of comedy country are his other records, but uh, this is one that I know I didn't have before because all the other ones that I've got, he's not clean shaven. He always has a mustache, so this is before the mustache came in. And then we've got a couple of Bill Cosby records. This one is for adults only. And that's what it says on the back. There's a big explanation there that says this is not a kid's album. This, is al this album is for you from me. It says adults only because I don't think it's about your kids. It's about you. Uh, and there's four tracks on each side. And then I got another Bill Cosby, 815, 1215. Like it says here, two record set, um, less than five bucks. Even though it says five bucks on there, I, the uh, dealer made a nice deal for me. Uh, so side one is eight fifteen, side two is eight fifteen, side three is twelve fifteen, side four is twelve fifteen. So this one I really don't know much of anything about. So this will be an interesting listen. And we got another one that's inspired by the first family series. We've got uh, the Washington Hillbillies. Uh, this one has, let's see, there's the cast. Ronnie Claire, George Mimoli, Nellie Bellflower, Michael Mislove, Shep Menken, Kirk Taylor, Steve Spears, Stuart Dillon, Sharon Obeck, Dave Anderson, Bill Sheridan, and Billy Minkin. I only recognize one or two of those names, but uh, there's a close, closer look at the cover. And on the back, just like in the first family records, we've got pictures of the production. And then I've got several of these compilations, but I didn't have this one. This is Dr. Dementos, Dementos, De Dementos Mementos. And there's the back of it. So this one we've got, uh, we've got I Get Weird, I Want to Kiss Her. Uh, we've got Smut, The Rodeo Song, Harry's Jockstrap, Swedish Western, My Name is Not Merv Griffin, don't go down to the fallout shelter with anyone else but me. And it ends with, I found the brains of Santa Claus. Uh, and there's a few others on here. Uh, the two records that they show down at the bottom there are two that I have. We've got Dementia Royale and uh, Dementos Delights down at the bottom. I've got both of those. I just didn't have Dementos Mementos yet, and now I do. And let's see, from the same vendor, there were two of this record in the in the bins there, but they were differently marked, and I pointed that out to the vendor, and he says, okay, just pick one and you'll get it at the lower price. And uh, at the end, he actually knocked it down another 50 cents. So 250 for Joan Rivers, uh, what becomes a, what becomes a semi-legend most? It's a little hard to read in this light, but this is the first Joan Rivers that I'm adding to my collection. And we've got a bunch of tracks on each side. The National Enquirer and UFO Sightings, Rock Stars, Men vs. Women, Men She Dated, Being a Bridesmaid, Being Married, Going to the Gynecologist, and a few other tracks on there. So doing a sort of, a, sort of inserting herself into uh, Princess Diana's wedding photo. <laughs> And then I got a couple records from this person as well, but I didn't have this one yet. This is Flip Wilson, The Devil Made Me Buy This Dress. Uh, this one we've got uh, Great Quotations, uh, Miss Johnson, The Great Motorbike Tennis Shoe Race. Let's see, we've got Monologue Number 2, Ruby Begonia. Uh, the next one is actually an upgrade copy for me. This is George Carlin, AM and FM. This one has Son of Wino, Divorce Game, Ed Sullivan Self-Taught, The 11 O'Clock News, Drugs, Sex and Commercials, Shoot, The Hairpiece, Birth Control, and Let's Make a Deal, and a few other tracks on here, but nice upgrade copy. Then we have add the first Randy Newman into my collection. This is Randy Newman, Little Criminals. There he is standing over one of the freeways in Los Angeles, and I got this one because it has, there it is, Short People. It's a song I heard on the radio a lot, but never had a chance to buy on my own. Uh, and then this one, 
Lonnie Donegan. I got this because this is the guy who sang Does Your Chewing Gum Lose Its Flavor on the Bedpost Overnight. Uh, it's not on this record, but I started to look at the track listing and the credits on the back, and that said, yes, you need this record. Uh, because right here on, let's see, we've got, there's a track, Have a Drink on Me, Drums, Ringo Starr. Uh, lead guitar, Albert Lee. Piano, Peter Wingfield. Uh, and then Ham and Eggs, we've got drums, Ringo Starr again. Uh, acoustic and slide guitar, Peter Jameson. Guitar, Peter Banks. Uh, piano, Peter w Wing Wingfield. And then further down, we've got uh, I Want to Go Home with drums, Bruce Gary. And bass, Roger McHugh. Percussion, Ray Cooper. Electric piano, Gary Booker. Uh, and then further down, on Digging My Potatoes, we've got uh, Frank Gibson on drums, Alan Jones on bass, Ryan May on electric guitar, and Elton John on piano. So we've got Ringo Starr, we've got Elton John, we've got a bunch of other names that I've heard before playing along with Lonnie Donegan. So this one will be interesting to listen to. This next record is one that had special meaning for me when I saw it in the, uh, in the stacks there. Harry Belafonte at Carnegie Hall. Uh, this is one that my parents had, and my sisters and I listened to it a lot growing up. I always remembered this one because of some of the songs on it. I always remembered Hava Nagila and, of course, Deo, the banana boat song. But also, uh, listening, I listened to this one again last night uh, as part of my decompression from the day. Uh, and when it came down to uh, songs like Man Piaba and... Uh, Oh, let's see, what was the other one? Matilda, which is the uh, the song that closes the album. Uh, Come Back, Liza. Uh, Mama, Look a Boo Boo. Yeah. I remember all of these. You know, when, I, when they came on, on the turntable, I remembered hearing them again as a kid. And that just did it for me. You know, it was, it was almost, almost an emotional listening. This one, this was the most special of the purchases that I made uh, at the show and uh, for the entire day. So then we went to a couple of record stores afterwards and let's see if we get these in the right order. Um, one of the stores we went to is a place called Rushmore Records. It's a pretty small place but I picked up this one. Uh, this one is Sting, Nothing Like the Sun. It's two two records. Each record has three tracks on each side. So that when I saw that I first thought, okay, does this play at 45? Is it one of those? And no, it plays at 33, which means each track is about four or five minutes long. And, you know, I got this one, like I said earlier, you know, my wife is a big Sting and, and Police fan. She liked this one a lot better than the Police record that I got. So I consider that my, uh, my sacrifice to the family gods. But then also at the same store, I got another upgrade copy of a record in my collection. This is the Devotees album. Uh, got one with a clean sleeve on it, finally. So the Devotees, I've shown this before on a few videos. The, this is a Rhino release of um, covers of Devo songs and Devo-inspired songs by fans. And of course, are we not Devo? We are Devotees. So then at the next store we went to was a uh, kind of a mix between an antique shop on one side uh, and books and records on the other side. This was the only place that I saw in the, in the whole day that actually had a section labeled as comedy. So of course that's one of the first sections that I went to and I found a bunch of things in there and looking at my discogs after getting home I realized there was another item there that I should have picked up as an upgrade copy, but uh, I let it sit there because I thought, you know, I've already got that. And I was right. I already had it. But anyway, I found a whole bunch of things there. So PDQ Bach at Carnegie Hall. This is one I have on CD and it's nice to get it on vinyl finally. Another political satire record. We've got Washington is for the Birds. This is the authentic voices of Lady Bird Johnson, LBJ, and people like that, it says. And there's the back of it. Uh, conceived and produced by George Atkins and Hank Levine, featuring the talk sing voices of Lyndon Johnson, Lady Bird Johnson, Dickie Bird, Noc John or Dickie Bird Nixon, Bobby Bird Kennedy, Barry Bird Goldwater, 
Hubie Bird Humphrey, and Ev Bird Dixon. All used without their permission in a way they never intended. So I've got another record similar to this. It's the uh, LBJ Ranch with uh, Earl Dowd. Uh, so I'm looking forward to listening to that one. This one is another one that I didn't know anything about, but it was in the comedy section, and I saw one of the names on it is, is something that I recognized. So this is Pat Harrington Jr. as Guido Panzini and Bill Dana as kooky as ever. So Bill Dana is the name that got me to buy this one. So I, I've got a couple of Bill Dana records in my collection. Now I've got uh, another one that he appears on. And this is another one where I had a couple of records by the duo, but uh, I didn't have this one yet. This is Burns and Schreiber, uh, Jack Burns and Avery Schreiber specifically. Uh, in one head and out the other, the new emerging bigot. So here's the front and the back. Get the whole thing on there. So it's another one that I know very little about, but that'll be fun to listen to. And then we've got Mae West. This is the fabulous Mae West. This is just her singing. So we've got on here, we've got songs including I'm in the mood for love, My Daddy Rocks Me with One Steady Roll, They Call Me Sister Honky Tonk, Frankie and Johnny, Havana for a Night, a guy what takes his time uh, if i could be with you one hour tonight and a few others and i found one good rusty warren this is more knockers up and i don't think this has the uh, no it doesn't have the uh, uh the knockers up club sign up sheet like some of the other records that i had uh, but for uh, five bucks and a very clean disc adding another to the Rusty Warren collection and the back shows several of other several others of her records there was a copy of Sensational there but I pulled it out of the sleeve and it just did not look very good it was not worth the uh, five dollars that they were trying to sell it for let alone three dollars um, I've got a few of these others and uh, based on uh, one of the chats that I was participating in today there may be some more coming so I don't think that one was one of those. Uh, but then we've got also from the same store, we've got uh, You Don't Have to Be Italian to like Pat Cooper. And there's the back. He's holding a nice big Italian sub on the front. Uh, Pat Cooper, I have a, uh, a parody record that he did, a parody of the uh, Whipped Cream and Other Delights. Uh, his version is Spaghetti Sauce and Other Delights. This one... W.C. Fields, his only recording, is actually a cover variation of the W.C. Fields and Mae West record that I have. On the front here, it has the two side, or the two tracks that W.C. Fields does, and I know those are on the other record because I listened to them. The Temperance Lecture and The Day I Drank a Glass of Water, and it says plus eight songs by Mae West. And I open it up, this is the same inside as the other record that I've got. And I was looking at the titles here, Frankie and Johnny, My Man Friday, That's All Brother, uh, Put It Off Until Tomorrow, and ending with Come Up and See Me Sometime. That's the same track listing as on the W.C. Fields and Mae West gatefold album that I have. I actually have two copies of that one. Uh, now it, I've got a cover variant of it. Uh, and then we've got Louis Nye, Here's Nye in Your Eye, and there he is on the back. I've got uh, one or two other records that he's done, and I've, I've also got a compilation that he appears on. Then we also have Rolf Harris. This is All Together Now with Rolf Harris. This is now the first Rolf Harris record that I've got without Timey Kangaroo Down on it. Uh, it's got uh, I've Lost My Money, Gosport Nancy, Waltzing Matilda, Wild Rover, uh, Maximilian Mouse, Six White Boomers, the Overlander, Wild Colonial Boy, and a couple of other tracks on it. But uh, nice to have some more Rolf Harris in the collection. And we got another one that I didn't know much about. This is Jackie Cannon, live from the Ratfink Room. And another one on the back where it says, uh, just starting off with the hard-bitten face of comedian Jackie Cannon. Well, that's enough for me to get it. <laughs> then we've got another one that I didn't know anything about. Bill Carty blasts off. 
and it says steer s-t-e-r-e -E, oddities sensational new fun record and this one was owned by someone named zemke in milwaukee and there's the address probably not still there anymore but uh what got me to get this is rib tickling comedy by a great new star so we'll see how much it tickles ribs and then the next one this is also a cover variant that i didn't have before this is uh, Shelley Berman, The Sex Life of the Primate. This is your personal copy, as it says here. Uh, the other version that I've got has a picture on the front. This one is totally blank on the back. Uh, but this one has, uh, there's one track, or a set of tracks on here called Cleans and Dirties. And I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can just barely see. Let's see if we can get there that way there and there those little narrow tracks those are the cleans and dirties bits and there's a couple on each side there we go so we can see four cleans and dirties on that side oops bang the microphone and on this side get it back into the screen there we've got two more cleans and dirties on that side so those are the uh, i think the funnest part of these sex life of the primate records so then we got Another Pat Cooper. This is our hero, Pat Cooper, featuring an Italian wedding. And there's the back. This was also from the 50 cent pile. And we have, I didn't know he was doing this, but Spike Jones had another band after the City Slickers. This is Washington Square, the new band of Spike Jones. This is probably just looking at the back and reading what he's got here. This sounds more like pretty straightforward Dixieland, but it's got Spike Jones' name on it. So, you know, Got to get it for Spike Jones. Uh, this next one is very similar to another one I've got, Tom Lehrer Revisited. Uh, this cover is very similar to the An Evening Wasted. The difference is on An Evening Wasted, it's the photo is taken from the audience side, and here it's taken from the stage side uh, with an empty, uh, empty uh, theater. And there's the back, just a whole bunch of text, but uh, we've got things on here. You know, I know several of these already from uh, from some of the other records. Uh, Be Prepared, of course, the Boy Scouts marching song. Fight Fiercely Harvard, the Old Dope Peddler, the Hunting Song, uh, I Hold Your Hand in Mine, the Irish Ballad, I Want to Go Back to Dixie, and a few others. Uh, let's see, side one, it says recorded in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and side two, recorded in Sydney and Melbourne, Australia. So there's an Australian connection for you. Uh, and then down at the bottom, it's got pictures of the three other records. There's songs by Tom Lehrer, more songs by Tom Lehrer, and An Evening Wasted with Tom Lehrer. And one of those I actually have on a 10 inch as well as a 12 inch. Uh, and then we've got another one that I had on CD, but now I have it on vinyl. This is the worst of PDQ Bach. And the back, and this one. Is this a gatefold? It looks like it should be. Let's pull it out of the plastic sleeve. I don't think it is. Oh, it is. Okay, there we go. There's the inside. So I didn't have this picture on the CD, so that's cool to have. And then it's got more text there. Those are the liner notes. We've got Concerto for Horn and Hard Art. We've got the Schleptet in E flat major. The Madrigal, My Bunny Lass, She Smelleth. That one got the most airplay on my radio show. And there's a bunch of other songs on there. Then we have, for me, a new Alan Sherman. This is Alan in Wonderland. And let's see, is, there's the track list. We've got uh, Lots of Luck, uh, Green Stamps, uh, You Need an Analyst, The Dropouts March, uh, I Can't Dance, Little Butterball, Good Advice, and it also mentions what they're, what the songs are parodies of. So, parody of Holiday for Strings is Holiday for States. Uh, Green Stamps is a parody of Green Eyes. Night and Day, it says, with punctuation marks as well. And getting down to the last ones, this is one that I never see in the U.S. Steptoe and Son, they're a British comedy duo. And this is a British pressing, as you can tell by the the flaps from the sleeve folded over here without even looking at the uh, the credits down here at the bottom. It says produced by Pi Records Sales Limited, ATV House, Greater Cumberland, Cumberland Place, London, WI. 
and one of our British friends will have to oh, let's get that in focus there there we go one of our British friends will have to tell me what the uh, WI stands for this one has two tracks one on each side the stepmother and the musical evening adapted from the BV BBC TV series produced by Duncan Wood so I've heard of these guys before I think I've heard some of the some of their bits I don't remember now but I, I know them as a comedy group now this last one you could say that I put it in because the uh, the bin that I got it from it said all the records out here are a dollar each but two for a dollar if you get two of them uh, if you only get one you pay a dollar for that if you get two you pay a dollar for both and and this one I got because it, it's it's, it's uh, Disneyland records uh, but it also evened out the uh, the stack that I had from there learning to tell time is fun from Walt Disney uh, and it looks like someone got a little creative with coloring in the eyes on there you know most of the time children's records like this are really beat up but this one this is so clean how can it be so clean uh, probably because the kid just did not want to listen to it um, so it's not on my favorite Disneyland label but it is a Disneyland Records record so we got Disneyland Records uh, added another Disneyland Records record publication added to the collection so I have no idea what's on here uh, let's see songs by Laura Ulsher and Tutti Camerata narrated by Laura Ulsher produced by Camerata and it says on the back here this is the face of your clock to help you learn to tell time the hands of your clock are enclosed inside this record jacket uh, unfortunately those are missing as is the inner sleeve Let's bang the microphone as I yeah so there's only the record in the sleeve here so there's a couple of pieces missing out of this um, I'll have to get a new inner sleeve got a little bit of tape on the outside but this is a record that I have never seen before so this will be another fun one to listen to so we've got including the record store day purchase from Saturday 40 records <laughs> I've got uh, over the weekend uh, about 10 or 15 of them were 50 cents each uh, another five or ten were three dollars each there were a few five dollars a few seven dollars uh, the Devo record was I think on the ten dollar range and the uh, Sting double album was 15 the second most expensive and of course Frank Zappa's apostrophe was the most expensive at $20 so I think that's a pretty good haul <laughs> I'm gonna have fun listening to these I've already started into listening to them I've listened to both the police and the sting records uh, I've listened to the Be Harry Belafonte all the way through because you know like I said that was the special one for me on this trip uh, and I've listened to half of the Jonathan Winters release now I've got my my work cut out for me this week to listen to all the rest of these it's going to be a while before i get through listening to them but now that i've got this video done or recorded i can put them into discogs so that's what i've got today see you next time